Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity for me to respond to Minister Chan's query yesterday. Dear Minister Chan, yesterday I attempted to get assurance from your good self that children in schools will not be vaccination differentiated. I see it as my duty as a parliamentarian to bring their valid concerns to this house. Yes, Minister Ong Yi Kang and yourself have given the assurance before. Uh, Mr. Leong, um, this is not to make another speech. You were meant to clarify, I think, the source of some of the feedback that you provided. Yes, Speaker, I'll come to that. Uh, Mr. Leong, the question was about which school, where, and so on. Do you have those details? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going through the thing. No, you're going through the thing. The question which you said you will clarify, and the question was about which school, so that the minister could follow up on this, the allegations have been made. Okay. Or is it just a screenshot from some Telegram page? Speaker, can you let me finish the... No, we're asking you to substantiate. I'm giving you airtime to substantiate what you said yesterday. So is that going to come out? Okay, this information going repeat, that I'm going to say... Or are you just going to repeat a screenshot? I'm going to repeat a screenshot. Do you know the source? Educate which school, etc.? There's no uh, a mention of the school on the screenshot. Okay, but this is public information... Okay, on the public domain, SG concerned parents, a check group with close to 6,000 members. So, if the ministry wants, they can contact the persons. So, Mr. Leong, there is no clarification from you, therefore, is that right? As to which school and what specific. I have clarified have where the information comes from. Which is from a Telegram page. Yes, but from not the, the, You have no idea what the school was, you have not verified whether that was true or not, etc. Yes, I want to clarify that that is where I got my information. Yes. Okay. okay. And, um, Ms. Indrani, Raja. Mr. Speaker, as Leader of the House, I would like to issue some salutary advice to the learned member. I have in this House before spoken about the importance of being able to substantiate allegations that are made in this House. And we have seen what happens when members make allegations which cannot be substantiated or are irresponsible. I wish to remind the member exactly what transpired yesterday. The member stood up and made an allegation that teachers in MOE were practicing vaccine differentiated measures. It is an allegation which is cast out there and besmirches teachers as a whole. And the reason why you provide details if you are a responsible member of parliament is because when you come to this chamber and you're given a seat in this chamber, you're expected to discharge your duties responsibly. When you make allegations against teachers and just cast it out there, you must be able to substantiate it. So I just wish to conclude by reminding members that they are given the privilege of speaking in this chamber and that privilege must be exercised responsibly, and I hope that that is something that the member will bear in mind. Is that point taken, Mr. Leong? Speaker, thanks. Can I ask the minister? I'm asking you whether that point is taken. I want to ask one question first. I'm asking you whether the point is taken. If you have no response to that, you can sit down. Thank you very much. No, I, I, I noted the point, but I have my question. Can you I ask no a question? question? No, you have no question. Thank you. We are moving on. Speaker. We are moving on. You can sit down. No, I want to ask what... Order.